Okay, so I'm on my way back to Harrisburg, and I'm just like keeping y'all abreast of, you know, um, what I'm going through. It might be me. I have some sort of phobia with mountain driving or winding curves or people driving, and they're, you know, and it's not me driving, so I'm not in control of it, so... I'm like on the edge of my seat right now, just fucking scared out my motherfucking mind. Like this shit is crazy, and uh, I don't know, man. I got a phobia. It's crazy. I never knew I had it. Well, what a fucking profession to be getting into when you have that type of uh, phobia. And 33, and just finding this out, man. You know. So, um, anybody out there who's got the same problem, you know comment um, I, I just looked this up online I think they call it acrophobia it's got something to deal with uh, cliffs and, uh, and hills and um, you know winding roads and things like that and I used to be laughing at people like that like I don't know but now you experience it firsthand it's like Jesus um, yeah so that'd probably be like 55% of the reason why I said fuck this um, the other reasons is the company that I was working for you know I don't know if I told you guys this in the last video but the recruiters lied and I guess they make some type of commission on how many people they get enrolled in the uh, school or the company and um you know, they'll paint you a good picture about being off every weekend and being home to see your, your, your wife and your kids and all of that, give you time to spend your money. And um, when, when I get into the truck with the trainers, both times, I had two trainers, so one told me, no, Northeast is nothing but over the road. The second trainer told me, yeah, Northeast is uh, OTR. I've gone as far as Florida. I'm like, what are you doing down there? And he's like, oh, I'm getting this money, and I don't need to be home because I don't have nobody home to go home to. And uh, I'm like, yeah, well, I do, so fuck this. And he's like, um, yeah, you might go home three days out of every 21. And I'm like, how the fuck does that work? If I was told Saturday and Sunday, 30 hours off a week, you know? I don't know, bro. Like, I don't like to be lied to. Uh, I know there's money to get, and I know it ain't fair out there, but you, don't bring me in and, um, under false pretenses like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's um, false advertisement. That's uh, it's kind of like, it's downright lying. I, it's got to be some other legal term to it, but it's, it's, uh, it's crazy. So um, do your research before you get linked up with any company. The best way to get linked up is to do something local and dedicated. Always remember that, because you can go out and also remember to get hourly. Hourly is where you want to uh, be at because you won't be uh, chasing miles, you'll be chasing um, time. And that'll like more or less plan out your day when you're driving, you know, you go up, all right, this took me five hours to get up here, now let me do what I gotta do and get back. Okay, that took me 10 hours, so all right, I'm coming back home now. Stuff like that. So that's what you wanna uh, focus on. But yeah, that's just me dropping jewels right quick uh, and, you know, letting y'all know my um, situation right now, you know. So, hope y'all having a good time and uh, I'll probably make another video when I hit Harrisburg or when I'm back on the way from uh, Philadelphia, alright? Who the hell calls it Philadelphia? From, the, from back from Philly, alright? Later.